Hey all guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more Game of Thrones action. So the last episode we relived the Red Wedding which was pretty emotional. Um, I cried a little after I finished recording. Um, yeah, and so we've got the great we've got the great sword now we're trying to bring back to um, to the Ironwoods. And we also have to go and tell my uncle something. Um, we're play currently playing as Garen of, uh, he's a, he's son of the Castellian of House Forester, and, um, yeah, we've currently got the Great Sword, and we're on the King's Road. Oh, I'm so sad that everyone died. Everyone was in such a good mood, and it just had to end so emotionally. Hello, Mr. Piggy. A WASD to walk around, cool. And we've got the sword in our inventory over there. So I guess let's keep on keep on moving. Can we interact with a pig? I guess not. Uh, there's blood. Blood. You just seem like everyone get massacred. Why are you so surprised by a bit of blood? There's a dead pig there. On a fire. Are we going to run into like the Hound and Aria or something? We could. Because they'll they obviously be around this this point. Uh, okay, I guess we can't go this way. I guess we're forced to go this way. Let's look at the cart. Yeah, this could be the, the cart that the Hound and Aria broke on the way to the Red Wedding. Oh, I don't even know they would be coming from the other way, so I'm not quite sure. That's father's car. Oh, I guess we're back up in the north now. Maybe. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Oh, I guess we'll sneak forward, see what's going on. I guess we're back up in the north now, and he's a Bolton man. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <coughs> Father. I said move on. Unless you want to get fed with a fucking Uh, pigs. draw my fucking great sword. You. Protect our father. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get <laughs> off my land. Oh. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. It's like too heavy to actually pick up. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Over my dead body. Fuck you. Fuck you, obviously. Or come and get it what's cooler. Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, you bolt and scum. Let's go. Oh, well, we're getting messed up here. Someone save us! All right. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Oh, well, we lost that sword pretty quickly. So we can use a pitchfork, but we can't use. You really are a pig farmer. Uh, aren't you? pitchfork has better range. <laughs> oh, right in the throat. Get fucked, Bolton scum. Oh, I'm a leg wrecked. Press it, key. Mercy, please. I beg of you. No, fuck him. He will never survive without me. He I should. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. 
No, please. That's of a red wedding, you both and scum. I see you hang for this. That much I promise. Bolt and scum, there is no mercy for you. Um, father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. Oh no. Now we never know what the, the thing we had to protect is. I'll kill the men who did this. Oh, it's like when Rob found out his father died and he's hitting the tree and he's like, I'll kill them all. Oh, it's so emotional. Reliving the whole of season three again. Or at least the end of season three. I am Wrath, stronghold of House Forester. We're bringing the sword back. This is actually a pretty neat castle. Like, it's a bit small, but it's still pretty fucking cool. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Okay, yeah, my father is not Castellan, my uncle's Castellan. Okay, that makes sense. Garrett! Was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. At least we got the sword safely back to Iron Wrath, I guess. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. Oh, so them two what? weren't even Boltons. Awkward. My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Hmm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. Yeah, I'd do it again. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, this is going to be grim. Oh, look at it. Look how gross that is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mm, lovely. Put their maggots right in there. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. We can avenge them. Man, but yes. he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. <laughs> it's always nice to hear. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all low. He was a good man. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. We're just still keeping hold of the sword as well. Just chilling. Why not? Go on. Don't stop now. 
It's better to let the blood circulate. Um, well, let's, the tapestry, the Lord's chair, look at it. Look out the window. Let's go ahead and look out the window. I feel like we're only going to be able to do one. And then the lady's going to come. Or maybe we can do a wall. Who knows? The Ironwood Grove. I oh, know we can do all of them. Cool. The Lord's chair. Ah. Uh, and then let's go look at the tapestry last. At least Lord Forrester had a large army, or at least a large family, I should say. So he has people to follow on his bloodline. Look at Lady Forrester, look at Maria, look at Ron. Uh, let's look at Lord Forrester. Lord Forrester. It was an honour to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Oh, we can look at all of them, cool. Let's find out Lord a bit more about them all. He's our best warrior by far. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Or probably are like a bastard forester or something. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Yeah, they'll probably hold her as a hostage now to make sure how... S that, I, I'm pretty sure we actually play as her as well. Um, Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. I guess he's our new king. Who's this? He's Asher. He's Asher. some fucking lad. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh. Uh. Oh, one of the um, one of the episodes. I think it's like episode four. Is you actually play mm. with you Danny? I assume. Always sad to see a warrior. So I assume you play as I'm him. Fine. Let's draw Tengrin. Look, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm cool, dude. Let's go. Uh, look at the torch. What am I looking at? Rather cute oh, touch. little creatures. Oh, maggots. They? I guess. They're gross. This might help. He's stolen his medical supplies, right? Is that everything? Um, yeah, I think that's everything we need. We just talk to him now. Mm -hmm. right, let's talk to him. So are we done? Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. What if a White Hills? The White Hills hate the foresters. I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power, and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left, just as they've done before. Cool, let's leave. Now? Speak to Lady Forrester. Any time will tell, but Lady, Lady Forrester. Forrester. Welcome home, Garrod. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrod, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family. You've lost your family as well. I don't know why you're feeling so bad for me. I'm so sorry. NATO. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He was a hero. He was, he was a, a hero. hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was 
chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything... I can't tell him about uh, his any last words before he... Give her the passed, sword. If you can remember. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Ah, oh, I wonder if I would have said the other one. I would have got to keep the sword. They were our people, your family. There's my uncle. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Yeah, they killed this my family. Forest of land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. When Stannis Ramsay comes, Snow like, will be here hey. In a week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. No. He has suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to No, be we do need to be My smart. Uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. What? I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I've done nothing I've done wrong. Nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. In fuck it's their just eyes. the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Oh, I'm going to have to go to the wall. Stay, stay, Duncan. The boy has suffered enough. They just send me to the wall, aren't they? I don't care. They'd kill you and not think twice about it. It's not safe for you here. Oh, are we gonna be there it's when the wildlings attack the wall? The reach of the oh, it's gonna be so cool. I'm going to the wall. Him to the wall. Oh, it's gonna the be so cool. Done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. My place is Especially here. Now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Beside you. The house. You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. I mean, but others of risk is still not right. I'll do what you ask of me. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Oh, that's sad, but it's fucking cool that we get to go see Jon Snow on the wall. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. I guess we need to tell him as well about... Do we not get the chance to? What, we need to tell him about the, the thing uh, Lord Forrester told us to. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay. But Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Knights. I was the ride with a van. 
at the twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock, and, and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Gareth. You worked hard and served your lord with honour. Oh, so I've sad. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. Oh yeah, here we go, cool. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Of course I did. You haven't told anyone Rudy's else. Rudy's even asking me, really. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. You know, I'm gonna hug me goodbye. What dick? Oh, I'm actually really, really enjoying this suppose, so far. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. I wonder if this will be more loyal to like the book stuff or the movie or not the movie, the TV show, TV series. Because obviously there's a load of characters in the book which aren't in the TV series, so I wonder if we'll see any of them. Because obviously, obviously these aren't in the TV series, but you know what I mean. Especially on the wall. With like the blacksmith and that. Let's take the next of us. Be safe. Oh uh, yeah, because the next episode, I, I, the next episode of this is it had a picture of Jon Snow, so I assume you get to go ahead and meet him on the wall, obviously. Ethan. Ethan. Okay, now cool. So we're now playing as a new forester. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end the episode here when hopefully it stops the dialogue. I find him. Could you? hides too well and if he was smart he would reveal himself i don't like this game anymore maybe something happened to him ethan's fine he's just forgotten this is a game <laughs> you found me you found me well done ryan don't worry it's just a game ryan a stupid game i don't like it he was worried you were gone i thought we'd never find you again I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. Never. <laughs> I wish Maria was here, and Asha, and and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe. I promise you. Yeah, the Lannisters will be holding her as a hostage no, to make to sure we bend the knee. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. Getting is strong. He won't get he's hurt. Nice. Yeah, he's strong. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And... He calls you a milksop. <laughs> right. 
I don't care so what he what said. He forgets himself. After all, you I'll have him punished. <laughs> yes, he doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. Become Joffrey. What does Meltsop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. We do just have to swallow our pride and think about what's best Remember for we the foresters. We all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. <laughs> and then you yeah. came along. And everything changed. Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry. At everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise, I, I promise. I won't change. Good, because I'd rather have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything <laughs> you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. <laughs> it's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. Lord Ethan. You're needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Justice has, has already been, been served. He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. I do have to we go. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I Lord need to Wyatt go. He's a mean old man anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. I need to go. The house before my... I guess the house first, really. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, if you enjoy this, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll be doing um, all the other episodes when they're released as well, as well as continuing on this one. Um, if you did something different to me, please, obviously up to this point, don't tell me if you've done something different, like, later on, which has led to something else happening later on in the episode, because obviously I want to find out for myself. Um, but yeah, in my comments tell me if you've done anything different and what it's led to, because um, I'd love to see what other possibilities there could be. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.